Welcome to the Julia Collada Show presented by Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm Sam Murray, joined now with Stevenson softball head coach Julia Collada. And coach, 13 games through the season thus far. Gotten lucky with weather this year, a little yep. different from last year. How would you assess your team's play this year? I think that we have kind of started off well. We are still trying to figure out some of our puzzle pieces and where everyone fits, but I think our team has really attacked the tougher teams that we've played um, out of conference. And then we had a nice um, split, yes, or two days ago against um, uh, Arcadia in conference, which was really great. I think we're in the right direction. We're getting on track. We just kind of have to figure out where everyone kind of fits. Yeah, in the preseason, we kind of talked about how you'll have that mix of returners and the mix of, of newcomers, not necessarily freshmen. You have a couple junior transfers. Mm -hmm. So let's start, I guess we'll start with the newcomers. Erin Muir's kind of found her way in, in the batting yeah. box. Sierra Stark has, has done well. And then uh, Jessica Alise has kind of found her way into to the starting lineup. Talk about their performance. Yeah, they've done a really nice job of coming in and getting adjusted to uh, college play at this level, especially for the junior college transfers. Um, Jess got off to a hot start, and she's been handling right field pretty well. Erin Muir's done a great job at first base, and her bat is starting to get really hot with her power numbers. Um, as well as Sierra, who's kind of battled at second and also had some really great at-bats and, and appearances. So our, overall, our newcomers are doing a really nice job of adjusting and kind of fitting in with the upperclassmen that are on the field. Yeah, and then talk about the returners. Aaron Steffi is he picked up right where she left off last year, um, offensively and defensively. Uh, your sophomore Caleb Riles in the leadoff position has a hit in all 13 games this season. Talk about that mix of returners and, you know, with the mix of youth and, and returning that you have, how it's gelling. Yeah, so it's it's scary to think that KB is still a sophomore and she's made a lot of adjustments this year coming into this season. Um, with her at-bats, bunts, power slaps, soft slaps, and even starting to hit away a little bit. Um, and yeah, we noticed that she has actually been thrown out three times. A couple questionable calls, but I actually like that because that means that we are doing our job still. She's getting over, I think she has 16 seals, so she's doing a great job. And Erin Steffi actually got started off a little um, slower than we would have liked her to be, but now she's really come um, on even stronger than she was last year with home runs and her power numbers doing a nice job. Um, and also Morgan Fulton in the circle, who is, you know, just really crushing it for us right now. Yeah, I was going to say, you know, you know, in the preseason we talked about pitching. I think we've talked about it every year, and I think every coach across the country will talk about how pitching is a game changer. Yeah. Morgan Fulton's your veteran. She's your junior. She has five wins. Um, that's already halfway to her career high of, of 10 that she set last season. She got her 100th career strikeout. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, talk about her performance, especially in that in the pitching circle. Yeah, she's come out really dominant for us. She pitched a lot of games in Florida, um, and our pitching staff really relies on her as well as our team. Um, more impressive than the 100 strikeouts, I think, is that she will surpass those in ground balls, and that's what's really important for us as a team is her getting her ground balls, the timely strikeouts, and also our second pitcher coming in um, between Haley and Jill trying to figure out a, a good matchup on the team we're playing and who will be the most successful. Um, but she really does set the tone for our team, and I think that we are super confident when she's throwing that we have a great chance to win. And Haley um, Monahan has actually also done the same for us as well. She's given us an opportunity to win, and I think Jill is crafty, and when she gets adjusted to the college game, she'll be really great for us. Yeah, and then lastly, you're moving into to conference play. Yeah. You know, you had that conference split against Arcadia. What does your team have to do or have to improve upon after these first 13 games to be in the mix in the conference? I think that um, we have to have the mentality that we are not going to be satisfied with anything. And I think that Arcadia showed to us that we can, we are going to compete. But how do we break through in that second game and start sweeping teams? And I think we need to take care of the, the teams below us and attack the teams at the top. So I think that, you know, moving to the stretch of Alvernia and Widener, that'll be a really big test for us mentally as well as physically. Well, Coach, we wish you the best of luck moving forward, Thanks. and we'll see you back here in a couple weeks. Thanks. For Head Coach Julia Collada, I'm Sam Murray, and this has been the Julia Collada Show.